Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on our million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades and we do take into account losses so for further information with regards to detailed strategy and how to join us on in the challenge information is available in the description below uh, so please refer down there in the previous video i shared a copy of our weekly watch list and towards the end of today's video i'll be doing a quick review of the weekly watch list so stay tuned towards the end of the video for the review uh, and uh, in the main part of today's video we're going to be looking at tick symbol MMTLP and also tick symbol MMAT uh, with a particular focus on uh, a simple calculation of the potential dividend or the potential spin out into oil coal uh, using a current market value of the price of oil. Right now we're waiting for two key developments. The first development is official news with regard to the special dividend. The company has stated that this will be shared before the end of March 2022. So from Monday we're looking at 11 days uh, and also recently George did uh, release an information with regard to a tweet and he stated that there will be also an announcement with regard to a presentation and this presentation will look at potential questions with regard to the special dividend. So hopefully uh, I'm fingers crossed this week we will get some information or potential news on that development. So before we look at the quick calculation, I'd like to share with you an important development with regard to nanotech security. So for those of you aware of it, recent earnings, Metamaterials did post significant increase in terms of percentage of revenue. So that was good news. Or in terms of the negative news, the company is reporting significant losses. So that market did not respond positively to that. But on a, on a positive note, the significant amount of earnings were due to this acquisition of nanotech security. So uh, we have a quotation here from the Meta Chief Science Officer by the name of Temis Kellos. And what he stated here is uh, we are at a critical inflection point in the commercialization of meta metamaterial science and technology. We are witnessing the convergence of scientific disciplines, hastening opportunities of, uh, to affect sustainability at scale increase access to healthcare, decrease our dependence on rare earth and scarce materials, as well as improve health outcomes around the world. So again, a great quotation there. In terms of the, the business potential, they have um, 47 patents, which are now acquired by Metamaterial. So again, great potential there. And the other thing that I think is positive, it's certainly from a point of view of uh, developing scale and also increasing revenue, is the Colour Optic Sprite, uh, Stripe. This is a, something that is exclusive to the government and banknote market, and it combines sub-wavelength nanostructures and microstructures. So uh, potentially, in terms of metamaterials, this is going to give it huge potential going forward, certainly in terms of uh, more increase in revenue. So let's finish off by looking at some of the key benefits of this color optic uh, technology and potential in, from the point of view of nanotech. Uh, so the key, there are four key benefits highlighted here. So remember, this is a great acquisition by metamaterials. So the first key benefit is memory visual effects. Then we have flexible production comp compatibility. So this is certainly something that is great with regard to existing bank banknote industry production processes. Uh, and also in terms of the application machinery on the left bottom left we also have a uh, great potential for from the point of view of easy authentication so it's going to be used secure nano optic uh, always on color and extraordinary movement uh, to deliver a highly visible easy triggered authentication experience and then finally at the bottom right hand side we also have uh, this technology which is sustainable and durable it's built on a single layer of embossed material without inks or dyes making it one of the greenest security features available on the market so let's now look at an updated calculation using the value of oil so we do know oil is something that is going through a significant bullish phase uh, the price of oil has uh, broken the hundred dollar mark we also know that in terms of uh, oil and gas assets these are quite significant so we have confirmation uh, in terms of a median figure, so we're going to use the median figure, which is 3.7 billion barrels of oil. These are uh, in undeveloped land in the Oro Grande Basin. 
So for this potential calculation, we're not going to include gas and we're not, all, we're not going to look, include uh, assets of the Permian Basin. So what that potentially means is if we include gas and Permian Basin, then certainly the, the valuation does in increase. But due to lack of information with regard to gas and um, in terms of uh, Permian Basin, one of my previous calculations uh, added on a potential uh, increase in the value of the special dividend uh, using an estimated value approximately an additional $1 per share based on the valuation for the Permian Basin. So we could potentially add on $1 for that. But for the gas, it's, it's yet unknown in terms of uh, a lot of variables with regard to that. But let's have a look at gas. So on the screen here, you'll be able to see that we have confirmation from George uh, in terms of the qualifying shares, 165 million. So it, remember, there was a little bit of controversy with regard to these being tradable. That was not the intention of the company, but it is what it is right now. So in terms of uh, the oil, we have 3.7 billion barrels of oil. Uh, again, that's a medium figure. It could be higher. It could be a little bit lower. So we'll, we'll stick with that figure there. Current market value, we're looking at around about $107 a barrel. It has gone high. It has recently been higher than that. And it's also been lower. So that's, that's again from, from recent market trends, $107 a barrel is also a fairly median figure. So um, that's the, the market value. So the gross value of oil. $395 billion. So again, let me repeat that gross value of oil is $395 billion. So that's based on 3.7 billion barrels of oil uh, and a price of one barrel being $107, uh, $107 per barrel. So let's look at um, potential uh, net values now. So remember this land is undeveloped. So that certainly is not going to, that basically means we will not get anywhere close to that 395 billion so that's certainly not possible so we are i am going to be a little bit more conservative in my estimates hey i'm sure many of you people will know that some of my previous um, estimates have also been fairly conservative so let's have a look at what we're going to do we're going to um, look at a reduce reduced projection in terms of uh, getting from that gross value to a net value so we're going to reduce it by taking into account uh, reductions due to working interest, administration, legal fees, miscellaneous, etc. We do know the land is owned by the university, so obviously they will take a significant cut there, which is not 0.667%. Uh, percent. So after the rest of the fees are reduced, we're looking at a figure potentially, if we're using the value of oil, between 10 and 15%. Uh, on, on a conservative basis so let's on the on if we look at the red calculation in there so using a 10 percent valuation so that basically means uh 10 percent of 395 billion dollars is 39.5 billion dollars so if we divide that by the number of sh pref qualifying preference shares so 39.5 billion divided by 165 million shares we're looking at a potential value of each share uh, for MMTLP, $23.93. So that's on a conservative basis. And the reason why that is higher than some of my previous um, calculations is because of this significant increase in the value of oil. So we do know the company are carrying out some significant amounts of drilling. They have to do that to comply with the requirements of the lease. But let's now finish off by having a look at a bullish projection. So remember, this is my bullish projection here, which is looking at 15%. Uh, return in terms of uh, reduction so from the gross value which is 295 billion dollars so if we say you know uh, due to the land being undeveloped let's take um, a return for um, qualifying special dividend holders of around about 15 percent uh, so that gives us a, a, a net figure of 59.25 billion if we divide that into 165 million shares we're looking at approximately uh, $35.90 again uh, from my point of view that's a little bit more of a bullish figure in terms of uh, this um, being reflected in reality again we'll have to see in terms of what George has done so uh, the only thing I would ask George to do is try to use get us market values try to get as many potential bidders as he can and also get fair fair valuations uh, in terms of uh, potential return. So the company have officially stated that they are looking for maximum value. At, they are looking uh, to certainly reward people who, 
who have qualified for this uh, special dividend. So from Monday, we're looking at 11 days uh, and then we will get official news. I'd like to now finish off by looking at a review of our weekly watch list. So this is something that's shared every week on a Sunday. Uh, so I know if you would like to receive a copy of our weekly watch list, which is available exclusively to the Discord members, you can join for as little as $9 a month. So this is on the screen here, you'll be able to see our weekly watch list, which was shared on the 13th of March 2022. And again, all stocks are generally uh, a mixture in terms of some are high risk and some are uh, a little bit low risk so we have uh, a lot of growth stocks at the top so there was a strong uh, sort of indication here in terms of these stocks being on sale so we're looking at uh, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, AAPL, Nvidia, UNH and also Tesla so I'm sure you saw in terms of uh, the last week's market a great recovery a great bounce back and all of these shares did exceptionally well so we also called out a number of potential squeeze stocks these included HYMC so again we saw a significant increase and a squeeze there uh, where it went did go up uh, in excess of 100% but it also came down very very quickly so again the key thing to remember is to take profits quickly and also take sell out in green this could be one way of doing this would be by using a stop loss uh, so the stop loss means you can potentially increase your uh, profits if without selling if it keeps going up so one strategy I recommend there is when the share price goes up to also increase your stop loss as you as, as uh, the share price goes up in order to maximize profit and return and also reduce risk in terms of losses as well so we also called out NEO so I'm sure you saw significant increases in NEO GFA AI again we had a great return on that as well CLSD there was potentially great news on that with regard to earnings so that one did very very well as well we also looked at bbai sfat and muln this is a stock that a huge number of people in the discord made the exceptional profits in so congratulations to everybody who managed to get in muln so not all calls are successful but we did have a very successful call in these stocks uh, in last week's uh, weekly watches so to receive this week's weekly watch list you can join us in our discord and details are in the description below thank you very much for watching please stay tuned